The purpose of this video is to introduce students to some of the MATLAB files they can use to help their understanding of first order behaviours. Behaviours then are covered in section 2.3 and you can see they're also covered in the first few weeks of the first course in modelling, dynamics and control. An understanding of time constant and gain are the most basic of engineering model behaviours. So we're going to look at some core MATLAB files which focus on these concepts and help students get to grips with them. So here's a typical first order model. You can see it here. And underneath it is a typical solution, assuming a constant input u. There's the input over here, u. And what we want to ask is how does behaviour change as we change these parameters t and c. And you can see the parameter t is here and the parameter c is here. That's the time constant and the gain. Now here's a typical graph which you may have seen before and you can see that the time constant and the gain have very particular impacts. You'll see the inter intercepts of these horizontal and vertical lines which depend on time constant and gain. But it's not the purpose of this video to go through that, rather to look at the at MATLAB files which will support your learning of this. So links to the MATLAB files are shown here under week four in the first course. We're going to assume that viewers have downloaded the apps and the live scripts indicated and that was shown in an earlier video. So some core examples, tutorial week four live script and that focuses mainly on analytical solutions. There's a couple of apps and we're not going to show those in this video because it'd be better if you looked at the separate video in section 6.8 which supports the apps. In the generic live scripts folder there are two key examples. You can see ODEs with MATLAB and first order models and responses. So we're going to illustrate those two briefly now. Now just a reminder, the purpose here is not to teach MATLAB but rather to illustrate quickly where appropriate code is provided so students can self-learn the appropriate syntax and also to give you some files that you can experiment with easily to reinforce your understanding of core concepts. So let's go straight to the live scripts then. So you'll see I've opened up here ODEs with MATLAB. I'm going to skip section one because that was covered earlier and go straight sorry, to this section here. And you can see this shows how you can use MATLAB to get analytic solutions of a first order ODE. So for example, here's the first order ODE. And in this code block here, you can see it goes through the MATLAB syntax for defining that ODE. And then finally, in line 11 here, how do I find the solution? And then you look across here and see there it is. There's the solution shown. So, for example, you could change this. You could say it wasn't equal to 3, it was equal to 7. So I could change that 7 and I could press run section. And you can see the solution has updated. So within this file there are a number of examples you can see here within section 1. Now first in the models and responses is the other live script we might need to look at. So this first one is basically giving you a dynamic way of looking at the impact of the different parameters. So here's my generic ODE at the top here t dx dt plus x equals cu and I'm going to assume that u is a constant with the value capital A. So you'll notice I've got sliders here which allow me to change the values C, the gain, T, the time constant, X0, the initial condition, and A, the magnitude of the input. And then you'll see here's a picture showing you what the response looks like. Now what can I do? I can change this A. So as I change that slider, notice how the figure updates. And you can see what's happened. I could change the initial condition. And notice how the figure updates so you can see what happens. So the whole point is you've got a live script here which helps you to understand how this behavior depends upon the different parameters. You can see this red dotted line marks where T is. This black dotted line marks the value C times capital A and the green lines show you percentage movement from where you start to where you finish. OK, you can see the corresponding code is here if you want to investigate it. Now, if we go down to the next section, you'll see it's got a different file, which is focusing 
on a similar sort of issue, but what it wants you to do is estimate C and T from a response. So it gives you a response, that's the blue line, and it's saying, given that blue line, can you tell me what the time constant and the gain is? And you'll see in the text here, it's giving you the actual answers, but the idea is you could try and work it out for yourself. And you'll see over here on the left a nice button, create a new example. So every time you press that, it will give you a new example. And hopefully that gives you the opportunity to explore and see, do I understand what's going on and how these parameters can be defined given a step response curve. Now section three, you've now got an unseen example. So you'll see your guesses are given down here in lines 53 and 54, and your guesses are this red dotted line, but the real response is the blue line, so you're somewhat wrong. So why don't we try a different value for C? So I'm gonna try something like 20. Press return. Okay, so you can see here that basically I can keep changing this C guess. So I started with minus 50 there and it's not quite right. So let's try minus 60. Oh, sorry, I didn't do that right. Minus 60. And you can see it's creeping closer together, but my time constant's not quite right, which is why these two aren't coming together effectively. So maybe my time constant's a bit faster. Let's try something like eight. And you can see it's getting closer. Maybe it's a bit faster. Let's try something like six. So you get the idea that this is an interactive place where you can play around and get an idea for how do you estimate the time constant and the gain from an original plot. And it's iterative, so you can experiment and say, yeah, OK, I'm now getting it. So some conclusions. We review some apps and live scripts which allow students to develop an understanding of the core concepts linked to first order responses. And obviously the key parameters are the time constant T and the gain C. Understanding these allows us to form database models that is deduce parameters from a response, which is often quite useful.